very warm welcome to day number two of the 82nd championship for Springer Spaniels for the Kennel Club. Here for the second day. How did you assess yesterday? Brilliant, ground was good. Um, more than enough game. Guns was as good as you're ever going to see and get. The only thing was uh, scenting was very, very bad and uh, affected things. We had uh, quite a few dogs passing game and uh, quite a few dogs uh, failing on, on beds. And, uh, but generally, brilliant first day, brilliant. Yeah. Excellent. Ian, you were on the other side. How was it on your side? Obviously um, much the same, but there you are. Yeah, we, had, we, we stood a little bit to start, but once we got going, it was very, very good, to be truthful. Um, and we had some good, good dogs coming, so we had some good dog work. Um, same as what they had on Keith's side. Scenting wasn't that good at times, but a lot of the time you can't train for what you had yesterday. You've got lots of birds running about. Uh, when you sent them on retrieves, going for a woodcock and there's lots of pheasants and things, and a couple of dogs failed on that sort of thing. But yeah, overall, it was very good. We really enjoyed it. Everybody got on and we've had a good time, to be truthful, and hopefully we'll same again today. Excellent. And there were quite a lot of dogs went out, Ian. Any particular reason other than the passing game that's already been mentioned? Uh, a lot of times, sometimes, and a lot You know, uh, dogs marking birds. Like uh, Keith and Ian said, scenting conditions were bad yesterday uh, on retrieves. And the handlers, I thought, should have just stopped the dogs a bit sooner, got them into the area, but just let them go. So some of the handlers put the dogs out yesterday. But all in all, you know, it, it's been a fantastic day yesterday. So looking forward to today. Thank you. Championship nerves, do you think? Yeah, definitely with, with quite a few of them, it, there was there were nerves. I mean, there's quite a lot of lads here that have qualified for the first time and, yeah, and when you were asking them to do things that they were just a bit slow on the whistle, uh, they weren't just holding the dogs in the area, letting them overshoot, so, you know, that didn't help them. You know, there was a few went out for that as well. Good morning, Bob. Good morning. Interesting that you were here this time shooting, and a number of years ago you won the championship. Yeah, it uh, seems a long time ago now, but uh, still keep a, quite a keen interest in dogs and like to shoot over them. So, um, you, I'm sure you've enjoyed watching what's going on as well uh, as shooting. Watching, yeah, you've got to keep looking and seeing what's going on and using your own assessment of what you think's right and what's wrong, but yes. And did you enjoy the shooting? Yeah, it was quite good. I didn't set off so well, but... <laughs> I got, got into it, I got, got me uh, eye in during the course of the day. I was more relaxed this morning than yesterday? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. We started off on a good foot and it just carried on, really. It went brilliantly, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Very you well. must have been very happy. Yeah, well, we put a lot of hours and time into it, and it went spot on, I thought. That, yeah. that was obvious. Just tell us a little bit about what you've had to do to get the championship ground as it is. Well, basically, when they've pruned all the poplar trees, they normally just swipe up and up and down the length of the rows, and we actually stopped them, and we, we done it ourselves. We went across the rows, so we didn't get the trouble with the birds all running at the end, which seemed to work quite well. It certainly yeah, we've did. put a lot of straw in there, a lot of hoppers, and quite a bit of time, really. Yeah. And I guess you haven't shot through that much this no, year? No, it hasn't been shot at all. Yeah, amazing. And there was an amazing head of game in there, yeah. wasn't there? Yeah, we, but no yeah. doubt you knew it was there and you expected it. It's a funny bit of ground. You, the food disappears, you'd never actually see them. It's always a worry, but they always seem to be there. Yeah. Something you might like to say a little bit about, the judges were saying that scent was poor yesterday, which I think we noted that. Is that a feature on this ground, yeah. or, or are there times when you get good scent? It seems to be a feature of this year. Right. Quite noticeable with the amount of retriever trials we've had that the dogs are really struggled. Is that something perhaps because I guess you've got a rainfall's been low over yeah, the last couple of years? Yeah, I would say it was probably something to do with it. It's just a funny bit of grain, really. Right. It is tricky. 
anyway, we're looking forward to today, yeah. and I'm sure it'll be just as good as yesterday. Well, we've put a lot into it this morning. We've been out since half past seven again, so... Uh, and you've got a great team helping you. Yeah, there's 27 or 8 of them out there again today, so... Your first time at the Championship, and you had a nice run yesterday. You must be pleased with that. I am pleased. I'm very pleased that we got through, so... And it was, it was tough going because there was a lot that didn't get through, weren't there? Yes, uh, a lot of good dogs went out. Fortunately, we got through. So. And you're keeping your fingers crossed for today? Yes, hoping for some nice ground and the dog to behave, basically. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure that will happen. And um, look forward to seeing you running later. Lovely.